Negative reinforcement is a psychological concept in which a behaviour is strengthened because it results in the removal of an unpleasant or aversive stimulus. This principle is a fundamental component of operant conditioning, a theory introduced by B.F. Skinner in the mid-20th century. Operant conditioning focuses on how behaviours are influenced by their consequences, with reinforcement, positive or negative, increasing the likelihood of a behaviour and punishment decreasing it. Despite its name, negative reinforcement does not refer to punishment. Instead, it describes a process by which a behaviour is encouraged through the elimination of something undesirable. Let's look at some examples of negative reinforcement. In academic settings, negative reinforcement can be observed when a student completes their homework to avoid detention. The unpleasant stimulus of detention is removed, reinforcing the student's behaviour of submitting homework on time. Similarly, in a household context, a child may clean their room to stop their parent from nagging. The removal of nagging, an unpleasant stimulus, encourages the child to maintain a tidy room. In professional environments, negative reinforcement can occur when an employee works overtime to avoid criticism from their supervisor. The avoidance of potential reprimands reinforces the employee's willingness to put in extra effort. These examples demonstrate how negative reinforcement operates in diverse areas of life, shaping behaviours by eliminating unwanted outcomes. Negative reinforcement can be an effective method of encouraging desired behaviours. One of its primary advantages is that it motivates individuals to act in order to improve their circumstances. For example, a person may develop the habit of using sunscreen to prevent sunburn, thus reinforcing a, a health-conscious behaviour. Additionally, negative reinforcement often leads to rapid behavioural changes because it creates a direct connection between the action and the removal of discomfort. This makes it a practical tool in settings such as classrooms and workplaces where immediate results are often desirable. Despite its effectiveness, negative reinforcement is not without challenges. In some cases, it can unintentionally reinforce undesirable behaviours. For example, if a child throws a tantrum to avoid a difficult task and the task is then removed, the child may learn that tantrums are an effective way to escape responsibility. Furthermore, reliance on negative reinforcement may lead individuals to perform behaviours only to avoid unpleasant outcomes, rather than developing intrinsic motivation. This can result in a lack of genuine engagement with the behaviour once the unpleasant stimulus is removed. Positive reinforcement is a widely used alternative to negative reinforcement. Instead of removing an unpleasant stimulus, positive reinforcement involves adding a desirable stimulus to encourage a behaviour. For instance, praising a student for completing their homework can increase the likelihood of the behaviour without relying on avoidance. Other alternatives include fostering intrinsic motivation, where individuals engage in a behaviour because they find it personally rewarding, or implementing structured systems that encourage long-term adherence to desirable habits through rewards rather than avoidance.